Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going over a sixth grade standard, dividing fractions. So when we are dividing fractions, the most important thing to remember is keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first number, change the division to multiplication, and then flip that last fraction, meaning finding our reciprocal. So let's go ahead and solve this one together. I'm going to keep the two fifths. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And then I'm going to flip the three fourths into four thirds. From here, all you have to do is multiply across like you normally would. So four times two equals eight. Five times three is 15. Simplify if you can, but that one's good. Let's do another one. Next up, I have five divided by five over six. So I'm gonna keep that first number. However, in order to make it a fraction, I need to add a denominator of one. So I'm gonna have five over one. I change the division to multiplication. And then I flip my last problem. So I'm gonna have six over five and multiply like normal. Five times six equals 30. One times five equals five. We can simplify for this one. So five goes into 30, six times. There's our answer. But what if our whole number is at the end where I'm supposed to flip? Let me show you. So for our last one, I have three fourths divided by nine. I'm going to keep that first number, three over four, change my division to multiplication. And then I need to flip my last number, find the reciprocal. So in order to do that, First, I need to make it a fraction. So I'm gonna add the denominator of one, and then that is what I'm flipping. So then I will have one over nine. From here, I multiply like normal. Three times one equals three. Four times nine equals 36. And I can simplify that into one. Three goes into 36 12 times, so I've simplified into one twelve. Alrighty, and there's dividing with fractions. Don't forget your keep, change, flip, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.